Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. You know, you travel outside the state of California and people always talk about our earthquakes, or at least they did. Now they're talking about our drought and it's getting very severe. Ventura County Supervisor Linda Parks joins us and we've got to figure out a way to deal with this situation. Right, I know uh, we're praying for rain here, but uh, actually they are talking about the potential for an El Nino coming uh, this next rainy season if we have one. And what a good opportunity now, knowing that we need that water to collect it, to, to do cisterns, to do rain barrels, to see that our aquifers get filled. So I think now is a good opportunity to talk about what we can do uh, for that eventuality, for that El Nino. They were uh, projecting it at almost a two-thirds chance of having one. And I want to tell about a little project in Compton at Washington Elementary School where we took a, a playground there that was pretty blighted and ugly. And they were able to, um, by engaging at-risk youth in the Los Angeles Conservation Corps and school-age kids, use them to do construction and work on putting cisterns in the ground. Uh, it, we have put it together bioswells and a whole system in place to clean the rainwater when it comes and then put them in these huge cisterns. Those are so big. We've got pictures. I mean, when you look at the size of the people and then think <laughs> they could walk through those things and how in the world they lowered those with a crane right. is unbelievable. So that, that, uh, that is just such a win-win-win. We provided job training skills. Uh, we did something nice uh, for uh, an ugly playground. Also provided a beautiful park next door and then also a very very importantly, provided these cisterns, and they can be used to water uh, the school, but also um, the surrounding area. And there have been several projects around the region that have been doing this, and it's such a good idea. I think a, a good opportunity that we here in Ventura County need to look at. And what an educational experience as well, because the kids, you know, are looking at blueprints and they're getting an idea on how to... Right, everything you know. from installing landscaping and doing construction work, uh, irrigation work, and so it is a really good job training opportunity for them, so I really like that aspect of it. But also looking here in Ventura County, where we are so reliant on groundwater in West Ventura County, uh, and in eastern Turk County on imported water. If that El Nino doesn't come, we're going to be in a world of hurt. And what we can do now towards conservation efforts, uh, for example, 70% of all water coming to people's homes is being used to water their landscaping. Mm. So switching out to drought tolerant landscaping or gravel, also. that works. Gravel, gravel works. <laughs> or drought tolerant, but, but ways that you don't have to waste that water because it is becoming such a precious commodity now. Uh, you look at all the farmers, the farmlands that we have, and how much uh, difficulty it is and how expensive the water becomes. Irrigation. I mean, yeah. how are they going to continue? You know, that's... And then you have that kind of the fight between the city folks who want it for their homes and, and drinking, and then the farmers who need it to grow crops. It's a billion and a half dollar industry, our, our, our crops. So it's important to be able to have that water available and to not waste it. Uh, and, and here we have an opportunity to do some capturing of that rainwater too, so that's really important. And it's really almost reaching like a crisis level. I mean, it, it, is. it really is. You know, and then you talk about growth too. Uh, there's a lot of projects out there still yet to come where they want to convert farmland for development. And once you put a, a permanent structure on there that has, you know, bathrooms and sinks and all, all that water coming to it, you can't turn the water off. But if it stays in farmland, that farmer has the option to fallow the crops, you know, not, not use his fields uh, if it, for a period of time if it's difficult. But you don't have that option once you've built houses there. And we are, uh, we are in a world of hurt right now if uh, we don't have that El Nino. Yeah, well, this is the first time we're praying for an El Nino, right? Right. <laughs> Linda Parks, Ventura County Supervisor, thank you so much for joining us here on Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw.